Cities and towns on MBTA service lines are under a deadline to clear the way for more multifamily housing near T-stops. This is part of the state's plan to address the housing crisis, and it's forcing some communities to make difficult choices. One of those communities is Newton, where WBZ's Louisa Moeller joins us live in Louisa. Newton may sign off on taller buildings to make this work. Well, Lisa, here's a prime example. To my left, we have the Newton Center T-stop. To my right, you have these cute shops in a one-story building here. This proposal could make this building three or even four stories, but some people worry about the unintended consequences for businesses. The Green Line Bell, just part of the charm of Newton Center with its Victorian homes and mom and pop boutiques and stores. Nearby restaurant Johnny's Luncheonette has booths full of memories. I had one woman say, you know, I, the best conversations I have with my teenager, they're at Johnny's. But Johnny's owner Kay Masterson worries that a vote by Newton City Council tonight could inadvertently hurt local businesses. The council will decide on a proposal to rezone six of Newton's villages, allowing for two and a half or three and a half stories to be built on top of one story buildings to add more affordable housing. It's an effort to comply with the 2021 state law, which requires communities along the MBTA commuter rail and Green Line to add more housing within a half mile of train stations to address the state's housing crisis. But Kay worries small businesses could be forced out by developers asking for higher rents to offset their housing units. And with nothing in by right zoning that protects the community, from having just banks and real estate companies and salons in. So I don't know whether it helped or hurt, but here we are. City Council President Susan Albright says leaders are doing the best they can on a tight deadline. State law requires Newton to zone for more than 8,000 units, and the city and other communities have until December 31st to submit their proposals to the state. I think this is a great example of a commercial location that's a single story, it's vacant, it's right near a T station. We could be having a lot more economic vibrancy here. City Councilor Bill Humphrey brought us to this vacant storefront to explain why he thinks the state law is the kickstart Newton needs. We have more people coming into Newton every day to go to work than going out of Newton to work somewhere else. It would be nice if we could have some of those people be able to live right here in Newton and not have to be commuting from places along 128 or even as far away as 495. Now, the City Council will meet tonight at 6.30. A vote could happen shortly after. If this passes, opponents are threatening a referendum. That means they'd have to gather thousands of signatures to bring this to a citywide vote. Live in Newton, Louisa Moeller, WBC News. All right, Louisa, thank you.